Okay. <laughs> Do I know what STEM stands for? It's like a flower. It's like a, like a plant. Science, technology, um, and a... It's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM is an acronym, and it stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. A overall, um, uh, how do I put it? Planning careers that um, aid the lessons or classes that would lead you into a field that would also be in, can classified as that. STEM is, uh, is important because there are a lot of opportunities for people to work in STEM fields. Hundreds of thousands of jobs across the country are not being filled because we are not producing enough technical people to do them. STEM brings together those four topics, which before have been studied as standalone topics. People may have majored in them independently, but when you get into the real world, you need to be able to put these guys together. They're different, but they are connected. And it's uh, trying to focus kids into careers so that there's people out there that are studying ways to make a difference. STEM is, is all about science. Science is a study of the natural world. Engineering is sometimes, in some countries, they call engineering applied science. So you take what you learn in science and you apply it to the real world. You make it happen. And the technology part is uh, making it work, the hands-on part, and keeping it working. And the math is a part that uh, is common to all of it, ties it all together. And as a scientist or anybody who's getting into STEM, what you choose to do with the powerful skills that you're going to develop will directly impact the world for greater or for worse, depending on your value system. It's very important to be somebody who asks a lot of questions. Never shy away from asking questions because that, I believe, is one of the most important things, whether you're in school or you're meeting new people or you're in your workplace. We're starting to hear things like computer programmers run the world and they're going to rule the world and they actually kind of already do because they're programming all these things that people are so engrossed with every hour of their day.